The solar system is just an astonishing place. There's so many amazing images taken. Europa is one of the weirdest things anyone has ever seen in the solar system. No one could imagine a world looking like that with this white surface just covered in huge cracks that we think are cracks in the ice covering an ocean underneath. We see in Saturn's rings this 100,000 mile wide sheet of enormous numbers of ice particles that are interacting in ways we could never have imagined, producing amazing patterns that are changing all the time. Just incredible complexity wherever we look. We live on Earth. Every day is spent on Earth. It's our home. But we realize that there's other worlds out there that are equally interesting and fascinating. Triton um, out of Voyager. I mean, what a beautiful world Triton is with its polar cap, with its wonderful crinkly edges. Triton is the largest moon of Neptune. And when Voyager flew by, you could see evidence of geysers on the surface. Io has erupting volcanoes. Jupiter's moon, Io. It's a beautiful image, and you can see the plume as it goes up and comes down on the surface. Seeing that really makes you feel that there's a living world out there. Enceladus in the Saturn system that has these geysers jetting water vapor and ice into the space, and we can image those and actually fly through those plumes and sniff the composition of this gas coming right out of the interior of this moon. When you get images like this, you see that even pretty small bodies have just amazing stories to tell. Rosetta took a selfie of the spacecraft with the comet in the background, and you can see a little jet of gas coming off the comet, and it's only like 16 kilometers away. It's a beautiful picture of a spacecraft flying alongside this very strange looking object. Every astronomer will try to seem like a sober scientist who thinks only about, only about the data, but the truth is that there are images or spectra that really make our hearts sing, that really just bring grins to our faces.